Hand clap, brothers and sisters. We are back again for another one. Number two, brothers and sisters. The second reaction video I dropped on this year. Mr. Leaks, no BR, BPTV. The previous one is on the Mr. Leaks react channel, guys. So you can definitely check it out right there. That link will be in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. But of course, this is your boy, Mr. Leaks, on this year. BR, BPTV. There are new individuals who are definitely tuned in for the first time. I'm your boy, Mr. Leaks, like I said before. And of course, I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for tuning into another vibes. Big up all this stuff one time. And of course, don't forget to do what, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Hit that like button. I would appreciate that. Smash that like button right there brothers and sisters helping the algorithms of youtube to shake and tremble as this pushes the videos further and further as well and of course you can definitely check out the next reaction i've did uh i've done a bit later on you will see pop up somewhere on the screen there if you definitely looking to check out uh, another one on this year channel or like i said before the previous reaction that i did on another channel mr leaks react channel right there anyways brothers and sisters don't forget to do what subscribe and turn on that post notification if you've not done so <laughs> subscribe brothers and sisters click the bell click subscribe and then click all to be notified when you drop all my videos right there and then with that with that said brothers and sisters without a, without a further ado brothers and sisters let us get into the vibrations for the day right there now brothers and sisters what you're seeing is two big boat <laughs> no brothers and sisters these are not two big boat these are cruise ship massive beings brothers and sisters that are able to float and i'm just when i saw this photo i was like what on earth is this brothers and sisters these massive devices with all the layerings and all these some things on there, it's just floating on the sea. <laughs> Big metal devices, brothers and sisters, just out there, just floating, you know. One big one there, one big one there, brothers and sisters. This one of them is the Carnival, um, Carnival Pride, and the other one is the Wonder of the Sea. It looks like this one is definitely the Wonder of the Sea. Now, brothers and sisters, a number of persons have been saying, Mr. Licks, when will we be able to get this kind of boat to come to Dominica? Well, I think these boats can come. The problem here is I don't think the, the jetty or the WAF or whatever you want to call it that these boats will come on will be able to properly secure this thing. As you've seen right there, this thing is definitely secure right there. If the ship sway this way, it's not going anywhere, brothers and sisters. If this one sway, no, you stay right there, brothers and sisters. No, if they have to put that on the WAF, brothers and sisters, them kind of WAF we have there. It'll break it up, eh? That is more money we have to spend, probably. That's why these ships don't come. But at least they could sh send these ships, you know? Put them on a little boat and come through. <laughs> yes, man, explore the nature of the Caribbean. But um, this is definitely the Car <laughs> Carnival Pride, which is, of course, rather interesting because we have Carnival season. So I would expect to see a lot of Carnival boats coming through. Not true. It's not Carnival, you wonder. Carnival on the sea, Carnival on the land, Dominica season going on. Bring them through, nah? Not Why are you saying? Okay, Carnival Pride and, and Wonder of the Sea. So bring Carnival Pride and all the other carnivals, Carnival season in Dominica. Bring some, bring some, bring some, <laughs> bring some surplus. Man, Dominica needs it. My God, Dominica definitely needs it right there. But it's always good to see these kind of things. One day we're just hoping that we see, or we tend to see this in Dominica. One of them brilliant days, brothers and sisters. It's a massive one. Has the wonder of the sea ever reached Dominica? Look at this. This looks like Disney World. <laughs> I remember a particular individual sent me a video of um, a, a cruise that came to Dominica and they were playing basketball on the ship. Now, I think, well, according to the Iron of the Sea, this is the wonder of the sea, but the Iron of the Sea, the icon of the sea, you can, there's like water parks and all kind of things on top of that boat. That's crazy right there, man. But this one might have one though. This one might be a small one. I see a little circular thing. So this one probably has one as well. But this one, man, the icon of the sea has several of them. And you know, I need to go and take a trip, brothers and sisters. I need to take a trip, man. Yes, man. Anyways, brothers and sisters, let's move on along right there. What is this? Ah, yes, brothers and sisters. Dominica might not be able to afford the WAF or the, the marina or whatever you want to call it right now, but these are some things that apparently the people can afford. And what is this, brothers and sisters? This is apparently, there's some sort of interesting creatures inside these things. Now, it has been reported that these things has been worms that was sold. And I'm not saying that this, I don't think this is a common thing. But when it comes down to these kind of things, brothers and sisters, you have to be very, very careful right there. Smoke air in, brothers and sisters. Smoke air in. And there seems to be some sort of worms inside there. So individuals who like to buy things on the shelves, keep in mind that these are 
you know what happens to to things that are passed on yes wombs come for them so if it's not properly preserved brothers and sisters or it has been there for a while i wonder if they indicated when it came to me they usually do say when it came uh, 2023 so i got this like two days ago brothers and sisters and if this is not december december 1st 2023 it has been on the shelf for a while i think the individuals who are doing the inventories and this kind of things they only need to check not just put things and hope for people to buy it and then oh we don't care if it have wombs or not in it brothers and sisters be that the case you need to be mindful brothers and sisters be mindful of the things that you buy definitely check the dates sometimes you might go places and say oh you expect these people to do you know do what needs to be done take out all the expired stuff and sometimes these people don't care brothers and sisters you definitely have to go there and check for yourself to ensure that you don't get things that can actually harm you because if these things are worms and it looks like a, a type of worm worms a type of worms brothers and sisters um you might want to be careful about the things that you buy and some of these things are in plastic so it's only when you you unravel them but most likely you'll be able to see the timing this is one of the reasons why i'm pointing out this video not to put blast on 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 on, on the shop but to more focus on guys you know be mindful uh, the shop needs some blast too you know but you also need to be mindful of when you're buying things because if that is the date december 1st 2023 mark West, i'm calling december 1st because that would be january 12th 2023 so let's not go too far on that regard right there brothers and sisters we are in february it is the 6th of february i got this about two days ago they should have a shelf life for these things or wombs brothers and sisters come on this is this is this is meat you know brothers and sisters this is this is you know what mother earth does in nature something that doesn't move you know brothers and sisters be mindful please i'm begging you be mindful so you might be able to afford this one ten dollars but be mindful to look at the dates the dates are very much vital and if you've seen the date and you saw this you should bring this back yes brothers and sisters i know it, it's not america that gasa if i buy this well then again you should have to do your due thing but if you buy this they shouldn't have this on the shelf in the first place if you buy this thing and you see this thing bring it back for them and tell you want a fresh one fresh one brothers and sisters so we need to come like america from time to time anyways brothers and sisters moving along right there no momentum mommy no mommy no paper Oh, so this is in Granby. I was just told this is in Granby, right, there, brothers and sisters? And um, seems like there's no toilet paper there. No momento, mami. No. Oh. oh, no momento, mami. Mami, no paper. Stop. No paper now. No paper now. Stop. Yes, it's just stop. No have paper now. So staff have no paper. Maybe tomorrow. No toilet. Paper. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Well, I mean, come on, brothers and sisters. Is this something new? Is this something new Dominicans are experiencing? Look at the airport. The airport uses water bottles for it to flush the toilet. So, not having toilet paper shouldn't be a shock here. Mami, no I mean, they should not be. But the, the, the Spanish lady uh, at the in the back there. No paper now. No paper now. Stop. No paper now. You don't have paper now. Maybe tomorrow. Well, you'll have to. She, she said, maybe tomorrow. Well, you'll have to use your hand. Maybe tomorrow. And wash it out. Maybe. In the, gra in the Grand Bay Hospital. Yeah, oh, no. the Grand Bay Hospital. Toilet paper in the Grand Bay Hospital looking too bad, man. Although, although nice building, but no toilet paper. The staff restroom. Are you serious? Okay, no, paper. No, I don't have cotton. Cotton? Cotton? Maybe finish. <laughs> what? <laughs> so she say use cotton? Wait. I don't have cotton. I don't have cotton. 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 Maybe finish. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect that lady trolling. That lady they're trolling. Because she say, hey, maybe finish. Everything finishing. So hey, that maybe finish too. Probably the individuals involved in stocking the Grand Bay 
um, a hospital need to take note. Call well, paper boy. Well, man will have to start going back to banana leaf boy. Cotton. Cut dried banana leaf. Cotton. Cotton. Maybe finish. <laughs> man, I love this lady. She's a high bitch. She's turned it like it is, man. She gave us some cotton so the homie could wipe his booty, man. <laughs> So they're looking for, so maybe somebody's in probably the, the public bathroom and the public bathroom doesn't have any toilet paper. So they go into the staff bathroom. The staff bathroom doesn't have any toilet paper either. So she's talking about cotton, brothers and sisters. Cotton. Cotton. And then she's maybe finished. <laughs> man, I love this lady. She's a high bitch. She's turning it like it is. Not her fault. Or maybe they themselves taking it. Things are tough. Might as well take I don't know. I don't know, it's possible. Yes, man. She gave us some cotton so the homie could wipe his booty, man. <laughs> My homie is very sick. He comes to the hospital and he gets some cotton to wipe his booty because they ain't got no toilet paper in the Grand Bay, in the Grand Bay Health Center. You need a contribution. Are you serious? This is mad. You need a contribution for you to get cotton to wipe your booty? And he gets some cotton to wipe his booty because they ain't got no toilet paper in the Grand Bay Hospital, in the Grand Bay Health Center. I didn't want to laugh, you know. <laughs> I didn't want to laugh, you know, guys. See the struggle. See the struggle that is at present, boy. Let me bring it back a little. I love this lady. She's a high bitch. She's turned it like it is, man. She gave us some cotton so the homie could wipe his booty, man. <laughs> My homie is very sick. He comes to the hospital. And he gets some cotton to wipe his booty because they ain't got no toilet paper in the Grand Bay Hospital, in the Grand Bay Health Center. No. Are you serious? This is. I'm guessing this individual that is filming right now, he is from overseas. He has a little accent I can hear inside there. It's madness, man. Grand Bay folks got to wake up. This shit is crazy. <laughs> this shit is madness. Well, at least it has a nice looking bathroom. All right. It might not have the facilities that facilitate the bathroom, but you know it's a nice look, nice, nice wall and nice sink. You know, maybe this sink has water. You know, and maybe, maybe, maybe that has soap. Maybe it does soap looking empty. Probably, anyways, I don't know. But you know, maybe there's you know the nice looking clean. At least the people. What? Maybe they remove the light, brothers and sisters. So what you have at present is the is the is the smart lights you know the the lights that does come on when motions motion sensor lights are in effect but but they could at least you know cover that up you know okay. now watch grand bay people get pissed off at me for calling it like it is yes, but that's i do that's fine i'm all good i could take anything they throw at me mm -hmm. i'll defend grand bay with my life let them stay there with the bullshit well are you serious, serious. Nah, man uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, if we cannot afford toilet paper, Mizami, for Grand B toilet, do uh, you think we can build jetty? <laughs> okay. Let's move on, brothers and sisters. So, Dominica's health service has received a boost with the launch of a new healthcare. Ad Thank God, at least there's some new stock. What is it? With its motto bringing comp compassionate healthcare to you. So, I'm guessing there are individuals that pretty much will go to you to bring healthcare. Um, I think that would require money. Is that a government service or something? Why is that Demers Care Service DCS? Launch is a new option in Dominica for accessing health services. DCS will provide nursing and other health related services to individual families and groups in the comfort of their own settling or setting or home. Recognizing the importance of individual responding for health and the right to access the good quality of health care and sisters. Of healthcare services dcs will bridge the gap for those who do not require institutionalization care uh, that means you'll have to be in the hospital the services or the service ensured that care is not comprom compromised due to the absence of hospitalization that is true but sometimes i don't think there is a problem of hospitalization you know i think most likely the problem would be the absence of substances needed to take care of people in the same hospital so hopefully DCS has the measures in which it can definitely do something. But what exactly is DCS offering, brothers and sisters? The, the Demos Care Services offers a range of services tailored to meet diverse needs. Diversity 
is important including but not limited to administration of you know you know injections brothers and sisters medication alzheimer's and dementia care continuous day or night care so i'm guessing they're most likely going to visit you from time to time and so forth and so forth that's something that i know that has happened or is happening right now in the united states where they are personal caretakers of individuals who go to different homes and so forth and so forth um one of the dominicans i know left dominica to go overseas she's also doing this and she makes good money on this but the thing is they this is private care so the private individuals pay them to do these things or the family pays these individuals to do these things for them to ensure that you know they get some assistance i'm thinking that is most likely the same thing but the problem here is who exactly will be paying for that that's why i asked earlier on is this a government service that has been offered to help people or is this a private thing did they say anything about private uh the need public need brothers and sisters so for any video one's family is in the comfort of their own so that's that's very interesting right dear brothers and sisters anyways so medication care day or night care diabetic food care which i think is a good thing as a result of you know for diner may she rest in peace dressing of wounds and ulcers all these kind of things there is vital in the services that they offer not only this but meeting meeting of hygienic needs to ensure that individuals you know meet their hygienic needs yes periodic blood pressure and glucose monitoring post-operative i was going to say i thought this was a hype anyways post-operative care rehabilitative care uh post-stroke okay so i'm guessing there will be some sort of therapeutic care in that rehab rehabilitation uh a routine doctor and nurse visits at home so who is the routine doctor and nurse? who will be the nurses and doctors i guess they will know uh, on this regard brothers and sisters i'll post this link in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourself so if you want to uh, have some assistance or maybe your family members from overseas that can be a good thing as well maybe if it's a private vibe maybe your family members from overseas hey i cannot come down now maybe i can call these people to whoop whoop you know do something about it and of course if you want to get more information in that regard you can definitely check out the link it's on mo news brothers and sisters the mo news article you can definitely check that link in the description below as well so these are some of the things that they're offering so that's a good thing at least there are toilet paper there but at least some people might bring some toilet paper to you if you need it you know all right bring it at your home all right brothers and sisters but moving along brothers and sisters there's something that actually took place in mahu and it seems like this individual was wanted to end up in the grass bay, grand bay hospital uh, maybe I, that's probably why i needed to show it you know and then show this afterwards because it seems like there was some sort of situation that took place in mahu oh. <laughs> what are you calling me <laughs> Yes, uh, who that does film this thing then, oh boy? My goodness. <laughs> boy, did man help it? Oh, that's probably, probably those two individuals I was in conflict. Oh. oh, he has, oh, he's on handcuffs. Oh, he has handcuffs. <laughs> So I heard there was a pelleting that went on in the Mahu situation. So people can't just be about yourself, no boy. What story at the end? What happened now? See the man, 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 the Maybe if I flip this one, this one will be better too. Yeah, it works. It works out. It's good to have good partners, but tell your partner to stop that now. You could tell your partner not to get involved in, in, in things. They say there are pelleting going on. I don't see any, any sign of any pelleting going on there. I see Poco. And I see two people on the ground. One in handcuffs, it seems. Guys, take it easy for me now, please. Take it easy. Alright, let me see. Bad boy. Alright, Papa. 
Anyway, oh, I have had enough of you, young Chichi. It's time I deal with you. That shows a lot of relevance right there, brothers and sisters. On the state that Dominica is in right now, the only person to blame right now, well, the main person to blame right now is this guy. Because when the people gave him the authority for him to do things for them, he did not. But like I said before, it's not always watching what you see. It's looking at the root of the problem. And the root of the problem why this guy is there is because there are people that are supporting this very thing that is killing the country. And not just people in Dominica, by the way, brothers and sisters. People overseas as well are doing these things. And it seems if you look at humanity, brothers and sisters, understand the psyche of human beings. It seems like when there's some sort of elevation happening, humans tend to get vexed with you for that. This is why a number of persons, when they elevate, they don't show anything. You would swear that these people are living in poverty, but never know that they're multi-millionaires. You never know, brothers and sisters. That is happening, brothers and sisters. Because you know when you start to speak and you start to showcase certain things, people get angry with you because they don't want to see your progress. And it seems like the people of overseas are seeing this, may have been living in certain conditions, maybe themselves have carried the Dominican mentality of laziness over to wherever they are, and they do not want to see Dominica do better than them. I left for better for overseas. In a better in a country that has more opportunity. And you mean to tell me you guys in Dominica are doing better than me? No, sir. I want to keep you down. So I always seem to get that sentiment from time to time. It's not just the people in Dominica trying to keep them own their own selves down. Well, not all, but you know, a good amount of people are trying to keep keep their own selves down, keep their own selves down because of some sort of philosophy that they have. Oh, that is my PM and that's my team and this kind of things there. This is why I always tell people you should not be about party. It should be about policies. And policies is politics. The very shirt I'm wearing is as a result of politics, brothers. This shirt is political. Right? Keep that in mind. All the things, the, the things that are in front of me there is political. Putting policies in place to protect people's freedom to do certain things. All these things are politics. If you want to look at partisan, that is different. Red, blue, green, purple, everybody can support who they're supporting. But I think that it should be overall, it should always be country first, brothers and sisters. And if your party is not doing well for the country, you need to take them out. And it's very clear that this guy is not doing well for the country, has gone into dealings from our understandings, alleged to be going into dealings from our, own, our, own, on our understandings, and is involved in certain things that will make you beg the question, why is Dominica owing so much things? Dominica is owing things left, right, and center. Like I said before, brothers and sisters, do not be shocked. And I suspect that they are trying to keep the gas prices down until the, the people leave. Do not be shocked, brothers and sisters, if, by some miracle, that the gas prices, not miracle, what I say, Nina, by some chance that the gas prices, after this whole season is over, went back up. Because they need money, brothers and sisters, and they have to try to figure out all the ways that they can see if they can get some money from the people. So you'll have less money in your savings, less money going to your savings, less money to live life like you should be truly enjoying life. It seems like it, with Dominica is just on a survival, just a survival mode. And I think it's time that the people wake up and realize, guys, we need to start smell, smelling this coffee. We need to start selling this dominican coffee overseas too but that is another story right there the thought of of the individuals coming down and the you know, whole research on dominica coffee and going overseas and putting not there and seeing how brilliant the coffee is and the quality and so forth and so forth and dominica not <sighs> anyways brothers and sisters what are your thoughts man what are your thoughts on the whole situation right there i heard there was a pelleting doesn't look like there was a pelleting maybe some struggle or maybe somebody did somebody something it just seems like this guy is a little you know tipsy and of course you know i i how how, how will this happen brothers and sisters can you give me a reference understanding and do you think this is just a fluke or is this normal because the lady the lady i listened to the lady the lady was saying baby do have cotton maybe cotton finish so it seems like things finishing in grand bay is a culture so we're looking for toilet paper inside the staff bathroom and it doesn't have most likely is a culture maybe maybe people taking it hey toilet paper expensive <laughs> let me take the toilet paper and bring it at my home who knows brothers and sisters what are your thoughts on this whole thing right there brothers and sisters and please be mindful check the dates when you buy stuff 
check the dates when you buy stubborn sisters so you know if to buy it or not you might not be able to open the package if you open the package you'll have to buy it check the date this is why the dates are there brothers and sisters so yeah uh the person who bought this you still are not excused because you could have checked the dates it's always be mindful always be mindful of this thing ready so when mr lixon this here br bptp be real brothers and sisters definitely don't forget to do what brothers and sisters hit that like button i would appreciate that smash it brothers and sisters i would appreciate that right there so boy miss licks on this year brb tv i'll see you guys in the next reaction video check out the previous one i did today on the mr licks react channel guys link will that link will be the first comment in the comment box below guys so boy miss licks once again be real be positive <laughs>